Hey, what up, YouTube? It's Mandingo Superdome, uh, coming at you live from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a tutorial today of how to take a sample, chop it up, and throw it on Groove Agent 1 to act as a virtual MPC. I'm going to show you the wrong way first, then I'm going to show you the right way. Now, the wrong way is to start with an MP3 file. If you simply drag it in to your project it's going to get imported what I'm going to do is go to my scissor tool and simply chop off the part that I don't need hit a control X to get rid of that and I'm simply left with uh, just the part that I want now I'm going to go ahead and play this for you so you know what we're working with Alright, so that's the sample that we're working with. Now, I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of chopping this up for you for time's sake. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Groove Agent 1. I've made an MPC preset uh, that pretty much takes uh, like these first 16 pads in addition to uh, group number 3, group number 4, and group number 5. Uh, each one of them is assigned to their own uh, cutoff group. So, if you go ahead and play one of these pads, and then you play another pad before the sample is ended, it'll go ahead and choke itself off, just like a real MPC uh, is set up for the hardware people that are coming over to software. Uh, now, what you can do, or <laughs> the way the manual tells you to do it, is, oh, once you've chopped up a sample inside of Cubase in the project window, you can simply drag and drop the sucker and drop it onto one of your pads and you notice how it highlights a plus sign and you go ahead and let go of your mouse and drag and drop and not a damn thing happens and this is where I wound up beating my head against a brick wall for a solid day or two trying to figure out why and the manual doesn't tell you why uh, I'll tell you now it has to be a WAV file or an AFF before anything will drag on to the MPC to the Groove Agent 1 with the MPC pro set, uh, preset doesn't matter uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this track now I'm going to show you the right way to do it I'm going to bring up my media bay here with F5 now this is just the part that I played for you and I'm just going to simply drag this, and now I chopped this up with Audacity. This is a WAV file. This is the proper way to do it. Okay, so you see it's just this little section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on it. And go into Cubase's sample editor. Okay, it brings up the WAV file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt button. If you notice, I have this little speaker icon. If I hold down ALT, it turns into a pen. And what this does is if I simply left click while holding down the ALT button on the pen tool, it allows me to enter in a uh, pretty much a chop point manually. Now you can use the sensitivity slider and do it that way if you so choose. Uh, just for time's sake, I'm going to do it here manually as I'm kind of have an idea where the chop points are and then if you simply left click while you're on the speaker icon it'll go ahead and play uh, the, the chop that you have All right, so I can tell I want another chop point right here Alright, what I want to do is I want those horns by themselves, so I'm just going to simply click and drag uh, one of the points that have already been established 
back to uh, where I want it and drag the cue point back to here. And I'm going to drop another point in here. And let's see. If you hold down the Alt button, you notice it uh, changes to an X. And I'm going to try and get rid of this point to no avail. But that's not the point of this tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Slice and Close. And what it's done is it's gone ahead and sliced that sample into the points that I gave it. If you double click on this, it goes into the audio editor. And you can see that there's one, there's two. Uh, these are the different points that I chose to slice it into. Now, you can drag the whole thing, or you could just say, uh, if you hold down the control button while you click, you can say, oh, I just want chop number one, three, and five. That's all I want to drag, on, drag onto my MPC. All right, now me, I, I want the whole file. So I bring up my MPC and I simply drag and drop like I did before with the, MP, uh, the MP3 with the same plus button icon. Only this time, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna map it out to one, two, three, four, five, and six different chops that I went ahead and set up. Now I can go ahead and grab my MIDI keyboard here uh, and you'll notice I can go ahead and rearrange these any way I see fit. So that is just a very simple tutorial of how you take a sample, throw it into the sample editor, throw on some chop points, and then simply drag and drop it over to Groove Agent 1. Uh, now I have, like I told you, I have a preset set up to act as a MPC where each pad chokes each other off here in this first 16 pads. Um, and that's the simplest way to accomplish uh, what you normally would do on an MPC. So it's Mandingo Superdome, check it out. Uh, I hope that I've educated a few of y'all uh, to not make the same mistakes that I made. The major points is start with a WAV file first and you'll save yourself a lot of headaches. Alright, peace.